Hello everyone, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going over nullable types and how we can implement them into our programs. So let's go ahead and get started. So typically what we would do is we could say var current date equals um, date time dot, let's see, today. All right, we could do that and we would get um, our value. But let's say we didn't have, we wanted it to specifically be null. If we did this, it would say we can't assign null to an implicitly typed variable. Okay, well what if we said date time? All right, and then we would get null or we'd still get an error um, saying it is a non-nullable type, value type. So uh, the nullable type comes in like so. We could say nullable and we could say date time. Okay, now we're good to go. But one way we can actually do this is simply say date time with the question mark. It's the same thing, um, it's just a lot cleaner. So now what we can do is we can take a look at the extension methods. So we press dot and we get to see um, the extension methods and the properties. So we can see the value, if it even has a value, we can get the value or the default value. Um, so let's do this. So if the current date is not null, then we're going to console dot write line it's not null and then we can enter current date all right dot yeah that should be fine current date okay um now Let's do else. So if it's not, or if it is null, then we're going to console dot right line. We can simply say it's null and then use current, excuse me, current date. And then this is where we can actually use the get value or default. That way, if it is null, then we can just grab, go ahead and grab its default value. So let's go ahead and run this. We have it as null. Um, so let's see what happens when we run it um, with it being null. All right, it is null, and then it shows us this default date. Okay, so now what if we said current time, or current date equals um, let's see, date, time, dot, today. So let's go ahead and run that. As you see, it is not null, the current date and time. Not sure what's up with that. It gets the current date. Um, it's not midnight, but that is how we can actually set the, um, so that is essentially what it actually looks like when it isn't null and then when it is null. The beauty of it is we can actually get this default value here um, if it is null. So that is one way of handling a nullable type. This is how we can declare it. Um, and then these are the different, uh, this is an example of how to use it. Um, again, we can also use other, um, other, excuse me, um, extension methods, we can say value. Um, so if it's null and we want to get its value, let's take a look at what would happen. It's actually going to crash the application because it's an in un, unhandled exception. Nullable object must have a value. So um, this would be a great option to put right there. But again, using get value or default allows us so that no matter what, we have something in case it fails. So 
Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope um, this makes sense. Knowable types really aren't too terribly complex. Um, just like anything in programming though, um, it is incredible how some people are able to make very simple things very, very difficult. So I'm sure there will be some difficult implementations of this, but for the most part, um, this is a fairly simple concept. Um, you'll see this a lot with um, other event handlers and uh, events and delegates as well. So I wanted to include this in the advanced section because that's typically where you would start seeing it. Um, so I hope you guys again enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And until next time, thanks for watching.